using StatDisk for inferences about means from two independent populations. This video uses example two from section 9-3 titled, Are We More Creative with Blue? And example three from section 9-3 titled, Confidence Interval for Creativity Scores. Begin by selecting Analysis from the top menu, then select Hypothesis Testing from the drop-down menu. Select Mean Two Independent Samples from the submenu. Under Alternative Hypothesis, select the type of test, two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed. Select the option that uses the same symbol as the alternate hypothesis. For a two-tailed test, select the first option, population mean one not equal to population mean two. For a right-tailed test, select the second option, population mean one greater than population mean two. For a left-tailed test, select the third option, population mean one less than population mean two. In this example, we select the third option for a left-tailed test. Next, enter the desired significance level, which in this example is 0.01. Enter the sample size, sample mean, and sample standard deviation for both samples. If you know the population standard deviation for each sample, also enter those values. In this example, for sample one, we enter 35 for sample size, 3.39 for sample mean, and 0.97 for sample standard deviation. For sample two, we enter 36 for sample size, 3.97 for sample mean, and 0.63 for sample standard deviation. Note, if you have the sample data lists, but not the summary statistics, you can find the sample size, sample mean, and sample standard deviation using the explore data function in StatDisk. To use this function, enter each sample in a separate column in the StatDisk sample editor, then select data from the top menu and explore data from the submenu. Select the column that includes the sample data, click evaluate, and the sample size, sample mean, and sample standard deviation will be provided in the results. Under method of analysis, it is suggested that you select the first option of not equal variances, no pool. Click evaluate and the results will be provided as shown. The results include the test statistic T of negative 2.9790 and the P value of 0.0021. In this example, the P value is less than the desired significance level of 0.01, so we reject the null hypothesis. This example uses a one-tailed hypothesis test with a significance level of 0.01. Therefore, the results also include the 98% confidence interval as shown. Because the confidence interval limits do not contain zero, this confidence interval suggests that there is a significant difference between the two population means. Also, because the confidence interval consists entirely of negative values, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the red background group has a lower mean creativity score than the blue background group. This supports the claim that blue enhances performance on a creative task as claimed by the researchers. But we should be careful to avoid a statement that the blue background is the cause of the higher creativity scores.